everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's Lydia Nikozawa here, and today we're gonna get into the juiciest VTuber news. Listen, i wearing a bikini again because people request it. Listen, if this is what you like, I'm gonna give you what you like, okay? Alright, excellent, perfect. Alright, this is our first piece of news here. So this is Fifi. She's a punk-ass VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So cute. Okay. So this was a DM that I believe she uh, later deleted, but it looks like, okay, so this was the, me this was here and it says, okay, so this person sends to Fifi. Fif, listen, you're a cool VTuber. Uh, no offense, but you're not one of us. Ouch. Ouch. Stop pretending like you are one of us. We keep inviting you to stuff out of obligation, not because we actually want you here. Oh, just go do your little YouTube thing and leave Twitch to the big girls like me. And says buff and I don't know, I guess buff and I don't know, it's scratched out. Uh, okay, I hope you don't take this the wrong way. How can you not take this the wrong way? I'm just trying to help you out so you'll stop embarrassing yourself wow oh that's so hurtful oh that's so sad goodness ouchie ouch ouchie ouch uh okay so then this uh was deleted right so uh but anyway so here is here is um some follow-up from from fifi so it says concerning last night's posts i'd like to clarify something the person who wrote that is not a vtuber huh Please don't speculate and spread false information. This person is not someone I associate with and hang... This, this person is not someone I associate with and hang with. None of my VTuber friends sent me that message. Okay, well, that's a relief. Thank goodness. Okay, and here it says... Uh, Fifi also says, I, I'd also like to apologize to any VTuber friends that got affected by people turning the situation as an excuse to attack them for no reason. Last night, I was hurt and emotional. I should have handled it better. I am very sorry. Oh, man. I mean, oh, that's, that's sad. Oh, I mean, that was, that was very hurtful. This is so hurtful. Wow. Wow. It, that's interesting. Sounds like drama I'd rather avoid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Either way, they suck. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree. This is, uh, this is very sad. Wow. Okay. It's never that, uh, yeah, oh, man, I felt this. I felt this in my heart. This is, ouchy, ouch, this hurts, this hurts. Okay, that's interesting that that didn't come from a VTuber. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, wow, 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 wow. All right, so, so, Fifi, hope you're doing okay. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, wowza, wowza. That, that hurts, that hurts. I, 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 I felt that one. Ow, ow, that hurts so much. Another story here. So this is on the Kurosanji subreddit. So Sayu is is almost at 100k. They are very close. They're at 98k subscribers. Holy moly! So close! So close! Anyways, Sayu, congratulations! You're almost there. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't already, please, please sub, please sub to Sayu. Okay, get her. We gotta get her over. We gotta get her over the threshold. Okay. Meow. Okay, on our, to our next piece of news. Here we go. This is... So this one is a little bit difficult because it's in a different language, but I do have the translations here. Uh, and obviously they're much seen translated. This is from uh, Genesis VTuber Agency. I believe they're based in Indonesia. Um, so it says, here's an announcement. Uh, latest update regarding Diva Pishi. We are aware that this violation is also our responsibility. Therefore, we want to apologize for everything that happened. This is a lesson for us to be better at dealing with problems that occur. Okay, so this uh, letter was issued and today. Okay, so it's an attachment one file. Subject, breach of employment agreement and embezzlement of assets. Okay, we are announcing the latest information regarding our talent uh, Diva Pishi. After waiting for the existing process, we can convey the latest information regarding our talent. Where our voice talent uh, VA of Diva Pishi character has knowingly and intentionally committed violations of the employment contract agreement and is suspected of embezzling and the digital assets and physical assets of our company. The violations that have been committed by the voice actor of Divya Pishi characters are as follows. And it says that the voice actor 
of the character Divya Pishia has violated the contents of the contract and agreement letter intentionally as the contents of the provisions of Article 2, Paragraph 2, uh, which states the second party keeps secret and does not reveal the identity that the second party is the talent behind the virtual YouTuber slash liver character of Divya Pishi to the public domain. And a statement that reads, willing to maintain the confidentiality of the project being worked on and the personal identity of the staff, talents, and other virtual streamers associated with Genesis. And then it says uh, point two. So I guess that was, okay, so that was, okay, so that was the first violation. Okay, and the second violation is that, that the voice actor of the Divya Pishi character is proven to have deliberately taken over several digital accounts and physical assets belonging to our company, Genesis, and unilaterally by changing the email addresses of several digital accounts belonging to our company, which was done without the permission and consent of Genesis, causing Genesis to be unable to access the company's digital accounts. And for this violation, we tried to clarify to the voice actor of Divya Pishi character via WhatsApp message, and an answer was obtained that the voice actor of Divya Pishi character admitted and confirmed that he had changed the email of the company's digital accounts belonging to the Genesis party intentionally and without permission. And for this action, our party, uh, Genesis, has tried to ask for the return of the assets that have been taken over by the voice actor of the Divya PC nicely, but it has not received an answer and response until now. This refers to the contents of the employment contract in the provisions of the Article 9, Paragraph 1, which states the device provided by the first party to the second party is the property of the first party so that if the term of this contract has expired and one of the parties does not agree to continue the contract or there is termination of the employment due to other matters stated in this contract, the second party is obligated to return one set of personal computer devices and all additions provided by the first party back to the first party in full. The And then this is a uh, violation number three, that the voice actor of the character Divya Pishi is proven to have deliberately refused to carry out her responsibilities and work obligations as stated in the work agreement. And, and this has been done by the voice actor of the character Divya Pishi from November 16th, 2023 until now. All directions and requests for recording content plans provided by the Genesis team have not been carried out. And no, it fulfill its obligation to create finished content independently. This breach refers to the contract Paragraph, uh, Article 4, Paragraph 2, points B and C that states, the second party is obligated to fulfill the work that has been given by the first party, namely as a virtual YouTuber slash library character, talented, talent named Divya Pishi. The work in question is live streaming and making other video content as directed by the first party, short videos, review content, and so on. Point C. The second party is a uh, is obliged to create content independently, short videos, review content, etc. At least 50% of the quota determined by the first party in each month. Okay, violation number four. Huh. That based on the information and other supporting documents that we obtained from one of our partners who became evidence, the character voice actor of Divya Pishi is strongly suggested to have of having a romantic relationship with one of the Kanmi staff, or uh, maybe or maybe ex staff which is strictly prohibited in employment agreement in accordance with the article of the employment contract, article two, paragraph two point B, not having a romantic or romantic re relationship with one of the staff of the first party team of Genesis and in accordance with the contents of the statement letter at point two, which states, uh, wait, uh, not having a romantic relationship with one of the staff or talents at Genesis and is known that the voice actor Divya Pishi has had this romantic relationship long before our former staff resigned in November 6, 2023. Number, okay, violation number five. Man, there's a lot. Holy, holy. That for the actions taken by the voice actor of Divya Pishi, character who has violated the contents of the work agreement and the statement letter that has been agreed upon and signed jointly between the voice actor of the Divya Pishi character and our company, Genesis, our party is given a written warning to the person concerned not to repeat the violations committed, and our party has given the voice actor of Divya Pishi character the opportunity to immediately resolve the issue, but the voice actor of Divya Pishi character has not given a response and answer to our party as of 22 days since the first warning letter was given. Whoo! Okay, all right, we last one, last one. Violation number seven. Oh, mama, jeez. Okay. 
It has been 22 days since the first warning letter was given. Until now, the voice actor Divya Pishi has not shown good faith to immediately resolve the problem. And instead, the voice actor Divya Pishi ignores and does not heed the contents of our first reprimanded letter. Violation number eight. Okay. Uh, this is... we. Whereas for the acts committed by the voice actor Divya Pishi that we have explained earlier, we emphasize once again that the voice actor Divya Pishi is suspected of having violated and committed acts prohibited in the employment agreement and the statement letter, has deliberately taken over the company's digital assets, and still carries some of the physical assets provided by the company as, facilita as facilities to support her work while working at Genesex. Therefore, we are still waiting for good faith as well as responses and answers from the voice actor Divya Pishi to immediately take responsibility for the violations committed so that this problem does not continue into a more serious realm. I mean, it's pretty serious that you're releasing the statement, but I guess maybe they mean legal action? I don't know. Violation number nine. Oh, goodness. Okay. That we will also return all forms of gifts that have been sent to Divya Pishi addressed to our party's addresses. And if the item that has been sent is not in our office or has been received by the voice actor of Divya Pishi character, then we will return it with our company funds, Genesis. Because currently our physical and digital assets held by the voice actor of Divya Pishi's character are still uncertain. Number 10. As well as apologizing for this entire incident, we also realize that all violations and actions committed by the voice actor of the character Divya Pishi occurred under our supervision and is also our responsibility. This is the information we can convey. Thank you for your attention. Densapar, April 18th, 2024. Sincerely, Genesis. Oh, mama. Okay, so we have 10 violations. All right, this is Divya Pishi. Okay, goodness, goodness. Okay, and then I guess, does this is this more stuff? Once again, we also apologize because we realize this is our negligence and lack of supervision on our part, so this can happen. We also hope that this problem can be resolved immediately and that it does not progress to a more serious stage. From the start, we also want to be able to resolve this problem in a friendly and deliberative manner so our talents can return to their normal activities. Okay. Regarding Divya Pishi's birthday gifts, in accordance with point nine in the letter we conveyed, you are expected to immediately fill in the return form. Uh, the deadline for filling out this form is H plus four for this information. I'm not sure what date that is, but okay. Anyways, yowza, yowza. That's uh, okay. So, it's kind of hard to understand, but s something happened between this talent and this agency. Okay, so it looks like this person may have just gone MIA. We don't really know a whole lot about the situation. It's a little confusing. Um, really don't know. We don't have, we don't have Divya's side of the story, so we really don't know what's, what's happened or, you know, uh, what the future holds for them. But, but generally, generally you don't leave if you're happy, you know, so something must have happened. We don't know what that is, but, uh, yeah, anyways, so, okay, anyways, that is, uh, so that's, that's what's happening over at Genesis. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this whole situation. Okay. Okay. On to our next piece of news here. Okay. Uh, so this, this one is uh, an update on, so this is Karoni's updates on her current health condition. And this is Karoni from Hollow Life. Okay, so let's take a listen. Yeah, it's good to be back. I'm really happy to be back. Woo! And I don't think I'll be leaving for that long of a time for a while now. I was um, having problems with my rib. Oof. <laughs> More specifically, lack thereof, but it's oh. all good now. Oh boy. Yeah. No rib? Yeah, no rib. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I gave over a rib bone to someone in need, and it's all good now. Oh no, wow. I was kidding. Like, had like problems with my rib, and then Oof. later on, like, I got like, like a stomach virus. Oh. Stomach flu. Oh no. I don't know. My aunt poisoned me. My aunt food poisoned me. And oh I no! I felt so much, so much sadness and anger in my heart. Oh, in my stomach too, I guess. Oh, and then now a pink eye. No! My goodness, it just never stops. Oh, What's no. next? Oh, Crony, I hope that you. I'm sending you healing vibes. Wow, that is losing a rib. Oh my goodness, that is, that's ouchy. Wow, 
Wow. Ribs take a long time to heal. Uh, I, I know this because Papa Neko uh, fell off a greenhouse and and broke some ribs. Uh, so he is better now. But yeah, rib, ribs take a long time to heal. And they can't really do anything. They can't... Uh... Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, poor thing. Oh, Coroni, I'm so sorry. I hope, I hope that the stitches heal. And I hope that you have a speedy recovery. Meow, meow. Yes, this is... Mwah, mwah. This is art. This is chef's kiss. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> That's for mint fan to make only. Do not steal. Um, so uh, as you can see, this is Solid Snake, and he's uh, he's he's on a he's on a body pillow, and he's and he's looking very thick. <laughs> and then this person says, "Uh oh, just being a little silly for the Oshi." And it makes the it made mints like, "Hello, hello, hello." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Anyways, okay, listen, I'm a Garu, I'm allowed to say that. Okay, this is art by Eluduko on Twitter. Snake cake? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's probably, that's probably, best comment. Best comment, <laughs> snake cake. <laughs> we need more male body pillows, okay? Thank you. All right. <laughs> There's an there is a mighty need. All right. Uh, okay, let's go to our next piece of news here. Okay, so Iron Mouse updates on her walking progress. Okay, so uh, let's see what uh, she has to say here. Guys, I just want to let you in on a little secret. Have I, like I said, I, I mean, have, have a have a treadmill. Removed, so they just I have a treadmill. I did my Ooh. first little walkalings on the treadmill. Yay! Holy shit! My legs feel like. They're gonna melt away. Oh no. <laughs> That's awesome. Is this how a normal human walks? Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even do I, I was just gonna be honest. I I only did like five minutes of walking. Oh wow. Well it's still something. That's Probably good. Probably not even five minutes. That is awesome! Iron Mouse, yay! Excellent, excellent. That is incredible. Woo! Good job, good job. That's phenomenal. It takes it takes a lot of courage, so great job. That is incredible, incredible. Uh, okay, so here's our next piece of news, everybody. So, there was a collab with Infinity and V Shoujo. The thing is, what happened was, there was a little bit of an oopsie here. So, uh, let's read through it. It says, hello, V Shoujo fans. We wanted to provide an update on the pre-orders for Iron Mouse, Zentrea, and Haruka's keyboard products. Keycaps are finishing this week, and the keyboard company is slated to finish production in the next four to five weeks, when all products will be delivered to our fulfillment partner. We apologize for the delay. The manufacturing pauses during the Lunar New Year were longer than expected. We cannot wait to get these into your hands. And then it says, quick update on the Series 1 of the Vishojo collection. We're experiencing a delay due to an inter-manufacturer issue of keycap sizing, like what is shown in the Iron Mouse keyboard here. We are aiming to have this resolved in the next few days and have all products delivered to the fulfiller by next week. Thank you so much for your patience and we apologize for the delay. So that's good that they're actually working on it and they're, you know, taking the time to not uh, submit a crappy product. So that's good. That's excellent. Excellent work, Infinity. It's good to keep people in the loop, right? Because that's the whole thing. If, if you were just like hush about it, people were like, where's my, where's my keyboard? Hello, hello. So it's good that you're doing right by the by the consumer. Well done. Excellent. Okay, on to our next piece of news, friends. Okay, so it says so this is on the virtual YouTuber subreddit, and this is posted by uh Bang Matika, and it says the perpetrator behind the harassment over Axia Crone has been apprehended by any color. Okay, all right, let's continue. Okay, so this is the life and regrets of a man who posted trolls over okay, so this is obviously the, you know, this trans this is machine translated. I'm not sure if it's going to be super legit, but anyways. Okay. So it's the life and regrets of a man who posted trolls over 2,000 times on live streaming forces Niji's Sanji's liver to suspend activities. And this was released today. Okay. The internet and social networking sites are full of anonymous unrelated posts. Even if it's not directed at you, just seeing slander flowing through your timeline can break your heart. That's true. That's true. There are a few opportunities to know the identity of the poster whose face cannot be seen. When we try to track down the person who has slandered us through legal procedures, we often find that they do not agree to pay compensation for economic reasons. A man in his 30s who repeatedly made offensive posts more than 2,000 times, forcing one video streamer to suspend his activities, causing a huge loss to the streamer and his company, agreed to an interview. 
I started getting angry, thinking it would make everyone uncomfortable. I couldn't stop. The male perpetrator who has caused a huge nuisance reflected on this. What kind of people are the victims facing? What awaits the perpetrator when the victim stands up? A closer look at the actual situation surrounding malicious intent on the internet. Repeated attacks from a dusty computer. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. They're just ripping this guy. Di okay. Repeated attacks from a dusty computer. Daisuke Sato, sunim, sunanim, late 30s, a resident of Western Japan, lives in a six and a half tatami apartment with a rent of 30,000 yen. Okay, so he plays around 300-ish bucks a month. Okay. I eat one meal a day. When I wake up, I cook rice and stir fry and meat and vegetables I bought at the supermarket. If I'm not feeling well, I just lie down. But when I'm feeling better, I play games or go for a walk. Next to the abandoned bed is where I spend most of my day. There is a dusty desktop computer sitting on a low table. Okay. And then they, they blurred out a lot of whatever this is. Uh, Mr. Sato's home desktop. This is how I executed the vandalism. Okay. Uh, what I enjoy in life is watching online videos for four to five hours in the evening. Two years ago, I continued to troll a video streamer's YouTube live from this PC for several days. After a while, I received a letter from the company announcing... The filing of a lawsuit for damages. The amount of compensation listed was far beyond what he could afford. Making a major impact on companies due to suspension of activities of top class popular VTubers. Mr. Sato's identity was discovered through legal procedures by Any Color Limited, which operates the VTuber group Niji Sanji. VTuber is a video streamer who uses 2D slash 3D graphic visuals. Livers YouTube live broadcasts have a feature that allows viewers to freely post comments that can be seen by other viewers. Livers belonging to Niji Sanji were plagued by malicious comments during broadcasts. One day in August 2022, Mr. Sato engaged in trolling by posting nearly 100 comments in a row within 10 minutes, persistently questioning the private lives of Niji Sanji members. Targeted streamers immediately suspended their activities as they were deemed to be a nuisance to the streaming of their friends. She graduated within the same year, causing an uproar in social media and online news. A lot of strange comments about me have been made on other liver streams. I can't cause trouble for anyone else. What this liver told the company. Liver himself not only suffered psychological damage, but was also forced to cancel his activities as a liver. The company he works for suffered great damage, including being unable to sell products related to the, I believe this is liver. Trolling, which interferes with streamers' job of disrupting content, is legally considered an act of obstruction of business and be considered a legal act. Uh, according to the Tokyo District Court decision in June 2023, ordering the disclosure of Mr. Sato's personal information, he continued to post a large number of unrelated posts in a short period of time to obstruct the company's business activities and further interfere with the activities of the liver. Considering that it was suspended, it was determined, it was clear that the company's business rights were infringed okay and then here it says mr sato's early life in february of this year mr sato came to kyoto city for an interview he needed to come up with transportation expenses and a date was set immediately after his disability pension was paid mr sato talks about his upbringing i grew up with a religious mother the mother said that she prioritized faith above all all else for her six children if anything good happens to her youngest son sato she says it's because i as a mother prayed and deepened my faith if something bad happens he says it's because you don't have enough faith go and worship at the buddhist altar looking back on those days sato says i couldn't develop a sense of self-affirmation because i denied my personality she consulted him once about going to university but her mother denied it like her older brother and sister she worked okay so i think yeah, I think the, the he and the she's gets a little confusing uh, with the uh, translation. Uh, she worked at the convenience stores and other places after graduating from high school, earning a take-home pay of 130,000 yen, about 1,300-ish, of which she handed over 1,200-ish. Wow! Oh, man! <laughs> Although she was suffering from such a lifestyle, she had no one to talk to at school, and before she knew it, she was diagnosed with depression. Oh, jeez. Okay, it says the internet was the weapon... And the one that saved us. The only thing I can rely on is watching online videos in my PC in my room. Apparently, a friend he met through their shared hobby encouraged him to run away from home. Uh, it's been 10 years since I washed up on the land where my friend lived. And I've been unemployed and living on six and a half tatami mats. She has been instructed by the hospital to rest. Sato says, I definitely 
wouldn't have survived without his words, but my family's abusive words still haunt my mind and even appear in my dreams. Oh, goodness. When this happens, they are unable to remain calm, and not only do they end up blaming themselves and saying, it's no good, it's not worth it, they also vent their paranoia to acquaintances they connect with on SNS, and then it says brackets X, so I'm assuming Twitter. Every time that happens, we end up losing our friendship, and I regret it, he says. It wasn't just the hundred vandalisms that were done. He also explained that he was impulsive in committing the trolling on stream. I made a fuss because I wanted to make everyone, both Liver and the listeners, uncomfortable. I have no criminal record, and I wouldn't have done it if I was sober. It was the first and last time I did something like that. Although there were just over 100 trolling posts that were brought up in court, it was revealed there was actually 2,000 similar trolling posts. I did that too. When I found out the streamer had blocked me, I changed my account and continued trolling. Ugh, gross. According to Sato, for more than two days, I used all my waking energy to vandalize. Gradually, I realized I had done something dangerous. At the time, he said he was impulsively trolling, but on the other hand, I felt that by posting questions, I could reduce the risk of defamation, and I wanted to do something that I would hate the most. I think I would have done the same thing. He calmly looks back on the situation at the time. He also said that he was once looking into what kind of defamation insults he received from his family. This is not my doing. A man who gave up his faith clung to God. Okay. Over the course of a year, I received inquiries from providers and advance notice of lawsuits claiming damages from the company. Even if I am asked for compensation, I do not have the ability to pay it. Please allow me to apologize. In November 2023, he reportedly sent an email to the company. A press release was issued regarding Liver's hiatus and graduation, and it became a hot topic. There was plenty of time to apologize by then. I saw the release on the day of the release, but I didn't know what to do. Even if I apologize, there's no way they would accept it. I couldn't even provide financial compensation, so I had no choice but to wait until the situation was resolved. I couldn't watch it because I was afraid of seeing the reactions on social media, and I thought I would die of fear if I watched it. I believed that the suspension of activities was due to something else and not because of my own trolling. Almost as if I was praying to God. I just don't want a trial. At this time, I'll have no choice but to exit the planet, but I don't want it. And here it says, a game using soccer cards in Mr. Sato Lakes. Why is this... Why is this here? That's random. Okay. Although he was reportedly trying to avoid reality and hesitating, he realized that it was reality when he saw the word, two words, lawsuit. After several months of negotiations with the company, a settlement was reached by accepting the terms proposed by the company. What did you think when you see news about defamation? Slander can hurt people, cost them jobs, and hinder their ability to express themselves. Some people exit the planet. When Mr. Sato sees or hears such news, he seems to think... Not only are the victims, but also the perpetrators. I did something in the past that I will never be able to atone for, even more than what my family has done to me. Slander and abusive language cannot be caused by the victim. I want to say that out loud. It is the perpetrator at fault. It may be an outlet for people like me who don't have a lot of leeway in her their hearts, or it may be the result of children who can't take things seriously. Every time I see reports of slander on the news... I see some of the perpetrators are unemployed or in worse situations than me. Even if that's the case, that's not an excuse. And I think you should stop before you slander someone. Worst thing you can do is involve others in your pain. I couldn't stop, but I'm determined to never do it again. Perpetrators of slander are subject to civil and criminal legal liability. Due to legal reforms, penalties are becoming more severe. Ah! Oh, goodness. I also understand that if I do the same thing next time, I will definitely be charged with a crime. I still can't stop watching video streaming because it gives me purpose in life. Even now, he continues to post on video streamers live stream and X, which he says is his purpose in life, but he can't believe in himself. Before going to sleep, he turns off his computer, and when posting online or social media, he says, I pause and take a breath before pressing enter. I no longer end up erasing what I was writing once or twice. They are unable to work due to illness or disability, have weak connections with family and friends, and do not hesitate to commit crimes and do not accept financial compensation even if they are pursued with legal responsibility people who are at a dead end in life are sometimes called invisible in, invincible people in internet slang we asked mr sato who is close to what is called an invisible person economically and how we should view them okay and it says we cannot offer solutions to people who have repeatedly committed malicious acts without any sense of guilt and have become completely invis invincible. 
Although this is a low-level conclusion, those who commit crimes deserve to be judged. If you can't do anything, you should at least show your sincerity. I asked Mr. Sato whether there are social issues, not personal issues, behind the rise of perpetrators of slander. As far as I am concerned, my bad situation is a matter of my birth and I am grateful to society and have no grievances against society. If society says you should exit the planet tomorrow, I would say yes. Oh, goodness. Although it contradicts what he said earlier, I don't want to exit the planet. Sato said so. As someone who has done this, I can tell you that everyone has some good side in them. If we cherish what's important within us, we can make the world a better place to live in. I think it will be. And that says mechanisms will be created to counter slander. It was the internet that saved me from wrong bottom and also hurt me. At the end of the anonymous post, there were people who vented their negative feelings at others in the form of slander. Mr. Sato lives on welfare and receives disability pension. When he tried to eliminate slander, he said, there is no grievance in society. Isn't it effective from a long-term perspective to aim for a society that supports people like him? However, there are no reasons why the victims who are suffering now should continue to be at the mercy of slander. Victims who had been way wailing until now are now standing up one after another in response to malicious slander. The number of consultations to the illegal and harmful information consultation center which is operated by the ministry of internal affairs and communications will reach 5,745 in fiscal 2022 exceeding 5,000 for eight consecutive years showing a trend of remaining high in march the ministry of internal affairs and communications adopted a cabinet decision to amend the provider liability limitation act this will require platforms to promptly delete malicious posts with the aim of swiftly redressing the damage Hmm. Okay, this could be dangerous. This... Hmm. Okay. This is like... Uh, again, I'm sorry. Another Metal Gear reference. Uh, you know. This is some, some lale lule low stuff. Okay. But anyways, let's keep, let's keep going. The company's anti-slander team receives about 1,500 pieces of defamatory information a month and continues to deal with these posts. Looking for information. We cover slander on the internet and SNS. Please share your experience with those who have committed acts of abuse. Now accepting requests for information and interviews. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. That was a very, that was a really, really lengthy article. I did not realize. Wow. Okay. So I guess what I can gather from this is that this person has a depressing life and kind of took their anger out on a liver, which caused the liver to graduate which caused uh niji to not make money which caused niji to look for this person and file a lawsuit against them so man there's a lot there's a lot to unpack there to be honest i mean i think it goes without saying you know don't harass livers that's not a very nice thing to do uh, because there are real people on the other side of that of that camera. There are real people on the other side of that computer. But uh, yeah, wow. Oh my goodness, that was that was very heavy. That was so heavy. Um, we definitely need more resources when it comes to dealing with mental health and on the on the side of the internet. You know what I mean? There's definitely something lacking there that that uh, definitely needs to be addressed. Wow, wow, wow. Goodness, goodness. I was confused on, wait, any color is a police now? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, and then here this person says, oh, sorry, this casual ogre says, it's good that they're taking care of people who harass their livers, but this seems like making a scapegoat out of one person. Mm, that's a good point. Axia Crone graduated because he was sick of the kind of fans that he had and how they treated him. He was just a regular guy who liked playing first-person shooters and yet, for some reason, his fan base was filled with the most overbearing, condescending, and possessive fans. And then this says, according to Chris, the perpetrator was a late 30s man who had an abusive family and decided to vent his frustrations over ex Niji liver Axia Crone by making 100 troll comments in a row within 10 minutes and 2,000 troll posts. Okay, that's a lot. And when Axia announced his sudden graduation, the perpetrator felt regret that he is contemplating about leaving the planet eventually he decides to take the punishment from any color and make an interview saying that words can actually hurt people okay words can kill that's true that's that's a metal gear solid five reference okay 
definitely not okay to harass people on the internet. Definitely not okay. All right, on to our next piece of news, friends. Okay, so uh, this is from the Niji Sanji subreddit. And uh, this is from Striking Schedule 97. And it just says, I am just incredibly saddened by all this. Dot, dot, dot. So what are they saddened about? Let's take a look. Okay, here it says, I'm pretty sure this past weekend was the last nail in the coffin for me. It's become apparent that Ian Branch is no longer one that it was when I started watching a few years ago. For all I know, it probably was never that at all. Especially so with Luxium. Hell, now I even find myself increasingly doubting Exoli and they are my second favorite branch. To me, it was as if the branch has died and is now buried six feet under. Oh boy. I'm pretty disgusted with a few livers in particular that I once looked up to. If the stages of grief are real, I've definitely passed beyond denial and into anger and depression by now. I am also just as upset with the anti slash hate mob growing and it becoming acceptable for more people to harass those who probably didn't even have anything to do with the big situation in February. The whole thing has just really soured the entirety of VTubing for me. I know that this isn't fair to all the wonderful and genuine people who do this as a hobby or career, but at least for now, I'm pretty distrustful of anyone. It used to be a dream of mine to possibly pursue VTubing, but now that I think I'll have to bury it as well. It increasingly looks like something that just wouldn't be compatible with me. What exactly do you do once your dreams have died? Oh, this is so sad. I find myself questioning that, uh, questioning a lot of what I once loved and if it was even real at all. Oh, this is, oh man, this is, I will say this is pretty heart wrenching. You know what? I kind of have to agree. I kind of have to agree with this person. Um, a lot of things like when the veil is lifted and you see like the truth, you know, you see like the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain and you're just like, oh, oh, I'm a little bit sad by all this, but okay. Let's see what everyone says here. Okay. This is from conflicted Redbird 168. There's a song I listened to by Stray View called what's done is done. And one of the lines goes, why is it? all on me to carry the burdens that you can't help but create and the answer is it's not none of what happened in the past couple of months are your responsibility to carry around it's very sad of course but for me personally this has allowed me to push for indie vtubers that have flown under the radar this is this is the correct response absolutely i've let go of niji mostly because what they're doing is on them what the aunties are doing it's on them i don't need that in my life right now Doors closed, windows open, however the saying goes, I would encourage you to still pursue your dream within reason and continue to look for the good. You will find it. That is 100% true. That is a uh, very, very solid advice. I mean, like, the thing is, there's a lot of bad people in the VTubing community, but there's also a lot of good people too, right? So, um... You just have to, you just gotta look for, you just gotta look for the good people. Look for, look for people who are helping. That's a big thing. Uh, always look for the people who are helping. Uh, okay, so let's continue. Porter Court says, if I may ask, what exactly was the final straw? The AR Live, the Kuro drama, the Raziel document? A lot has happened, to be fair. That is a great question. Uh, we're already into April and so much has happened. So it's, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Okay, the OP says, wait, there's more besides the AR fiasco. Oh my God! <laughs> Sweet summer child. Yes, it's been, it's been a go. It's been a hard four months. 2024 has been rough. Oh my goodness. Bro slash girl, watch indies. This, I, this. This statement, I 100% agree with. Because I feel like corporate VTubers, they like, they monetize it like to the extreme. At the personal cost of many, right? I mean, you, you see. You see with, with Kurosanji, like, they're just like, all right, another, another way for the meat grinder. You know what I mean? Like, they don't actually, like, care about their talent. They don't care about the people. And it's, uh, and it's really, really evident and it shows and it's really sad. But yeah, watching indies is probably the best way to cure your sad. And you know what? Yeah, okay, indies will probably be a little bit unpolished, but that's kind of fun, right? Scuff is kind of fun. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with this statement. Watch indies. This will, this will make you feel a lot better. And also you're helping, you're helping a person. You're not helping a corporation. There was a lot of good advice here, but definitely the biggest takeaway is one, don't give up on your dream OP and two, uh, watch some indies and you'll feel better for sure. For sure. Thanks for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible.